Welcome back to the channel. Today's daily challenge is new ground, win a dirt race in any retro rally vehicle upgraded to A class. So I've been fooling around with this 98 22B Subaru Impreza and I like it. I like the styling. I got a cool livery. So uh, I put my favorite parts on there that usually work in other cars and I'm anxious to see how it's actually going to work because I'm kind of not feeling it right now. So maybe I'll have some more criticism for my tune here once we actually get into a dirt race so which one do i want to do let's do this one i believe i have to switch it to a regular event a normal event there we go hit y jump in all right of course it's going to give me recommended cars which i do not want i do not like this feature of forza rb out of that to my current vehicle thank you why isn't current vehicle first? I will die on this hill. If you play the game, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm rocking out with my cool dinosaur guy over there. And this car has pink on it, I think. But STI is in pink, isn't it? Usually. I went through the designs uh, that were available real quick. And this one really stuck out to me. I love white wheels on Rally. Again, I don't know why, but those are the stock 22B wheels. If it's a very limited part on a very limited car, I don't like to change it for something you could buy on Tire Rack. You know what I mean? That's my personal opinion. Here we are. So before, when I started with this, you may have seen it yesterday. It was like A738. Um, it had a Turbo Rally, Rally Tires, Rally Suspension, and that was about it. Whoa, the launch is pretty good. Um, but today I went back to the stock 22B engine with intake, exhaust, fuel, um, big turbo, biggest one you can get. And I rock a 7 speed because there I'm already in 7th. It's geared to just about 180, which is great for A class. Yeah, this thing's pretty good. I guess I'm just used to really fast cars. The Puma putting it on me here looks like. If you guys remember at the turn of the millennia there was a mercury cougar that they restyled made it look a lot like that puma which i never even knew what a puma was so i started playing this game and i got the forza edition one my cousin has one tell me that that thing doesn't look like a cougar it's like the exact car uh one of my good friends back in my car club days I know right uh, but still it was fun while we did it this was like early 2000s mid 2000s fast and furious just coming onto the scene you know I famously had a super street magazine subscription in my name before any of that stuff happened but I've always liked Hondas anyway he had one and it had like everything you could do to it. it had aero gear like front rear sides wing hood uh i don't think he had custom paint but he wanted it he had motegi wheels like i think it was a custom exhaust because back then not a lot of people did stuff for cougars and it was basically a mazda it's a weird car i always liked them too though i thought they had good styling Reminiscent of, if you guys can remember, you guys are probably too young for this, some of you. But the Ford Probe, that was another Mazda borrow. Why isn't there a Ford Probe in these games? The original Ford Probe had, wow, I just smoked that whole corner. Had pop-up headlights. The next one, um, I think it did too, but like some people would change them. You know, you know, just like with Miatas and all the other cool pop-up headlights. I guess you could make them um, like open halfway. Some people did that. I've never had a car with pop-up headlights. Probably a good thing. All right, we smoked everybody here, so this is probably a pretty good tune. I'm going to put it in the description. I hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe you have in 22B, maybe not. Um, this is what I just decided today. I didn't have anything really 
for Class A Retro Rally Dirt Race. Anything that I modified to the top of the class, you know what I mean? But there it is. Proof is in the pudding. I'll throw it across the finish there. Hit the wall, of course. Now, when you guys get to uh, the tune for this, you're going to get, um, of course, the same wheels. You're going to get all the body parts. Um, but you're not going to get that livery. So maybe I'll go back through and put a link to that. Or not a link, a uh, share code for that as well. It is not my design. It's someone else's. So there we go. There's our daily challenge complete. Now, let's look towards tomorrow. We have... 100 miles per hour in any expedition not a Ford expedition I wish they would be like kind of cheeky like that and if you could make it work with a play on words like if there was a Ford expedition in the game you could do it but I believe they're talking about um hold on a second get rid of everything expeditions okay so showcases and expeditions so there's one so you just have to reach 100 so if you want to do that I believe you can just quit after that once you once you reach it. So you don't have to keep doing that. But any of these will work. Any of these with these cool icons, these pictures, as long as they're not a showcase, you need it to be an expedition. I guess it's more of like a... That's a showcase one. So it's these ones. Jungle Expedition. And you have Tulum. And Baja. And Guanajuato. And that's a showcase, yeah. And this one's an expedition. Okay. So it makes sense. Haven't done one of those in a while. A challenge like that or an expedition itself. And then on the last day of this festival playlist, on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing the challenge throwing shade. And we're going to change our vehicle's window tint. Now, I know that's super challenging. So because of that, I'm going to throw this Horizon Tour Co-op Championships on there. And that's going to be fun because we can hit the walls as much as we want. We can go crazy. We're supposed to be racing with teammates against computers. But usually, we end up racing each other. And mayhem or chaos ensues. So that's the plan for the rest of the week. We are going to be going to Ford's a -thon on Thursday. Um, follow my Twitter if you want to see updates on that or Forza Horizon UK if you want to see stuff ahead of time. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet, so as soon as that comes up, I will retweet that or uh, maybe even post it on here on this channel as a post. So just stay tuned to what I post here and we'll see what Forza Thon will actually be about. My prediction is just going to be uh, like you see this AMC Rebel here, this new car. Uh, we're going to maybe get one Ford reward car. Each time you see two reward cards, I don't think it's going to be all Ford. I really can't see them doing that, but we have yet to see. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. As always, I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Later. Later.